Hey, Virgos. This is for Virgos who are dealing with a Scorpio for the month of July 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got Crystal Sage Incense, Personal Readings, and much more. Uh, you guys got the Ten of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Full Card of Virgos. It looks like this person had really, really hurt you and betrayed you on a whole other level. Do expect them to contact you between now and the next eight days and then also in the next ten weeks. Some of you guys may have been in a relationship with this person for about ten 10 years, 10 weeks, Virgos are saying. Maybe some of you guys were in a relationship with this person for about two two years, and then all of a sudden it just went boop, boop, bye. Like, it just fucking complained, came to a complete ending, and a lot of you guys did not get the closure that you guys were looking for. Uh, do expect this person to reach out to you guys. A lot of you guys are still feeling this person's energy. Uh, and that's because this person's, like, sending you... This person is, like, sending you guys telepathical messages, Virgos, with the eight of wands, so the two... <laughs> and you guys are honestly able to feel it into... Anyway, they are reaching out to you. Expect that to come in. A lot of you guys might be really pissed off and angry with this person with the Ten of Cups in reverse. You guys may, may have been a very dysfunctional connection with the Four of Cups and the Ten of Cups in reverse. Like, it was not balanced at all. It was very bad, very chaotic, a lot of arguing, a lot of bullshit, and really fucking toxic on a whole other level. But they are going to try and find a way to come back towards you guys. Maybe for some of you guys, this person returned back to you in the month of April and... You guys were trying to balance everything out, and yeah, you guys love this person, and you guys are trying to make, trying to see things eye to eye, but on an intuitive level, you guys are feeling like you're always having to protect yourselves or defend yourselves in some sort of way with the nine of wands, and a lot of you guys' intuition is literally telling yourselves like, hey, this connection is done and over with, like, why am I even going back to something like this when I'm always having to argue and I'm always having to defend myself or protect myself, and, and then... Anyway, uh, Ace of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and the Moon card. You guys have been working on yourselves, Virgos, and new opportunities and blessings are going to be coming towards you guys, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. A lot of you guys might be looking for a job or trying to work for yourselves. It looks like some of you guys here work <sighs> night shift, uh, Virgos, for some of you guys. But intuitively, Virgos, you some of you guys really do want to work on this relationship, but intuitively, it's like you're allowing... Um, you guys have to see the truth for what it is and instead of allowing the moon to play mind games with you so some of you guys might be very much so affected by the moon energies all right you guys are left with so much burden and not knowing what to do so much stress so much burden you guys are carrying a lot on your plate and it's very hard for you guys to balance it out so you guys don't know what it is that you guys are going to try and want to do right at the end of the day uh, you, I don't see you guys being able to walk away from this person on an emotional level. I see that there's a lot of problems, a lot of argument. You guys argue with each other, and then you guys make up with each other. Argue, make up. Argue, make up. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> but then again, you guys love each other, so I don't understand why you guys are always arguing with each other. It doesn't fucking make sense. Like, get your shit together. Eight of Cups in reverse, Five of Wands. You guys are always tugging and pulling, tugging and pulling. Like, you guys still love each other, though. With the Knight of Cups to the Queen of Cups, you guys absolutely do love each other. The lovers is right there. You love each other. You're attracted to each other. You want to be with each other. But there's so much problems in between, but you guys still find a way to make the relationship work. All right, this person absolutely does want to be with you with the Six of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. They are taking their time to make their relationship work. However, though, somebody may have gotten their bad luck, a lot of karma here, and then they were going through a lot of destructive energy, especially if this person was playing, partying all the time, whatever. Maybe this person was spending a lot of money on drinks and alcohol and partying all the time, Virgos. Uh, they did. That was, that was their karma. Their karma would have been that. They didn't want to face their spiritual awakening. They didn't want to face the dark night of the soul. This person does have a lot of options and they are non-committal. Some of you guys, this person is going to still be non-committal, but they are going to find a way to propose to you with the ace of pentacles to the four of wands. <coughs> <coughs> They're not stable. They're not fucking stable. 
but they still want to get married to you or get give you an engagement, whatever the fuck what, but they still have a lot of options with the seven of cups. This is the future. This is the, this, this is the, this is, we're going into the future. This is the future. They still have opportunities. They still have options. They still have to make a decision. They're still very confused on what it is that they want. They are going to make a proposal to you with the four of wands to the ace of pentacles. A lot of you guys are going to be getting engaged to this person, but for fuck whatever what, Virgos, the king of wands in reverse, they are also not confident within themselves. They are worried that if they were to take this leap of faith with you, that are they going to fuck up down the road? God knows what's going to end up happening. However, though, they are going to propose to you, give you a relationship, give you a ring, give you an engagement, give you a wedding. But they are unstable at the moment with the king of wands in reverse to the seven of cups. This person still thinks about their past with somebody else that they could have had a relationship with. Maybe this person got married to somebody. Uh, sorry, maybe this person got somebody else pregnant in the past. <coughs> maybe this person still thinks about the relationship that they had in the past on who it is that they had, may have gotten pregnant anyway three of pentacles regardless of Virgos, they are they sometimes feel nostalgic on the person that they had pregnant i'm not trying to hurt you guys' feelings this is what the energy of the reading is all right so this person got someone pregnant in the past and sometimes they wonder like what that relationship could have ended up maybe this person ended up with two kids from that person but they're not with them anymore um whatever what is the fact that you guys are going to find a way to make this connection work between the two of you guys you guys are happy you're fine you're loving you're forgiving and you're okay you're taking that time to heal yourself you're using your intuition to allowing it to guide you you are connected to divination as well virgos and some of you guys might be married okay and you guys may find out that this person was doing something stupid behind your guys' back with the Hierophant Seven of Swords to the Hermit card, and you guys may have found out about it. For the ones who are married, you guys may find out that the either Virgo is doing something behind Scorpio's back, all right? And there could be court papers coming in for, for a few of you guys. I am seeing a lot of divorce for a lot of the signs that are coming in, Virgos, between now and the year 2023. A lot of divorce papers. People are going to be getting divorces left, right, and center. Is, there's no fucking such thing as stable relationships anymore, especially in this generation. Oh, the fuck not. It, it's so fucked up. It's so fucked up. There's no more stable relationships. It's very difficult to hold down a marriage at this point. Nobody forgives anybody. No one's. No one wants to listen or hear anybody out. No, but everyone just like, no, you did that to me. Well, then I'm leaving because I know my worth and whatever. But, I mean, if the person's not willing to change, then, yeah, do what you need to do. But if they are willing to change and you can find forgiveness, then try and find a make a way to make it work. Otherwise, forget marriage. Like, I'm saying forget marriage after you fucking divorce this one, too. <laughs> like, there's no point of getting married later on in the future. Just forget marriage. Completely forget it. The fuck? Forget it. Oh, being held down by some stupid shit for the fuck for what? Does it make sense? <laughs> fuck me, no. <coughs> Alright, so you guys are going to be reflecting on this connection that you have with this person here, Virgos. Uh, with the Queen of Wands, you guys are stepping into your power. Or This Scorpio is absolutely loving and beautiful and divine and... Maybe sometimes, whatever. Anyway, Eight of Swords, Page of Wands, and the Four of Swords energy. So you guys are going to be going into reflection mode, Virgos, and you guys are going to be reflecting on on this Queen of Wands, okay? You guys are going to be reflecting on your Scorpio, or your, or your Scorpio is going to be reflecting on you. Are you guys going to be able to put in the work in this connection? Are you guys going to be able to balance everything up between the two of you guys? Somebody here is a very loving, a provider, a protector. Somebody here wants to do everything in the can that they, that, that they can for you. But <laughs> but somebody here is also very promiscuous and somebody here also plays a lot of fucking games at certain times as well and you guys are like reflecting on that like this person here with the queen of wands to the emperor make sure that you don't get yourself in a position to get married to an entrepreneur no an entrepreneur make sure you don't get married to somebody who's only with you for your money because they're going to suck you fucking dry and then they're going to divorce your ass and then they're going to take everything they can from you and then you're going to end up in the eight of swords <laughs> i can see a lot of government problems and i see a lot of fucking problems virgos executive problems yeah 
four of swords. Someone here is going to enforce some stupid shit on upon you in some fucking sort of way, Virgos. Be fucking careful. I don't trust this Queen of Wands at all. At all, I don't trust them. I don't care if they're fucking upright. I don't give a fuck. The energy speaks for itself. I'm not trust no fucking Queen of Wands. I'm not trust this Scorpio or this Virgo. No, I'm not fucking trust them. Uh, Knight of Wands, be careful, Virgos. If you guys are entrepreneurs, that you guys are not in a relationship with someone who just wants to be with you for your money or for your assets or... Anyway, you guys are the eight of swords at the end of the day. Like, this person has you all the way fucked up. And then when the moment you guys reach out to them, the, where the fuck are they to be found, to be seen? They're gone. Four of swords. They're gone straight into hermit. Somebody here is going to be fucking ghosted. Uh, this queen of swords, quits queen of wands... Virgos, you might be ghosting your fucking Scorpio or vice versa. Do expect somebody to get ghosted on a whole other level, on a whole other level. Somebody here is getting, make sure, making sure that they get whatever the fuck they can and whatever, run you dry. And then they're fucking dipping out on you and they're ghosting you too. Uh, maybe even taking the trip and you guys are going to be really upset about it. And you're going to be sitting there reaching out to them like, hey, where are you? Someone's going to be going on a, a traveling trip or a dipping and <laughs> taking a vacation and then you guys are going to find out this person did nothing except take advantage of you, steal from you, lie on you, manipulate you, and played a lot of games on you. And you guys need to do a little bit more better on protecting yourselves and protecting your energy with the Four of Pentacles and not just give your money to people. Just because they act really cute and whatever doesn't mean you just fucking give it to them, the fuck? Like, it's okay to be kind to people, but to honestly trust people to this type of extent where you get played on this type of level is a, is a whole other fucking story. You should be knowing. You should be knowing better. You're an entrepreneur. You should fucking know better. You should know better. But for whatever what, you don't know better. And you let this young one here run a whole other fucking game on you. They got what they needed and they fucking left. Ace of Swords, Virgos. Uh, you guys are seeing everything for what exactly what it is. And you guys are going to move on with your life. The universe is going to bless you with more love in the future. So please be patient. Between now and the next three years, you guys are going to be manifesting more opportunities for yourself. God does see everything that these people have, that this Virgo or the Scorpio has done to you. And it may leave you in a lot of despair where you're going to be a little bit hesitant on getting into another relationships for a little while. So maybe for a good five months, you guys are going to be like celibate or you're not going to want to fuck with nobody or to simply be single and just focus on your money and do your thing like you're going to be very very strong this time around like you're very smart you're going to be very analytical you're going to be very wise right and you're not going to give your energy to people who don't deserve it star card virgos uh things are going to start you're going to be better at making more better decisions for yourself <coughs> 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 But not all is lost, all right? You guys have been focusing on yourself, planting for yourselves too. This person is going to find a way to contact you again, uh, Virgos, and they're going to tell you that they love you and everything like that. But this person's back, the Scorpio is back, is upon you. Meaning, you guys are more focused, going to be focused on your money, on your investments, on your career, whatever the fuck what. This King of Cups, this Scorpio is going to become very obsessed with you knowing that you're everything and more for them so they're going to try and find a way to get you back and when you guys call this person out you put them in a page position so yeah they're a, they're a king because they're in front of you right but this person has a lot of shit going on and when they see that you are sitting up for yourself setting boundaries for yourself and you're sad and you're using your words in the correct way of putting this person back in check with the page of sword energy this person is going to flip and become a page they will no longer be a king or a queen you're going to rip this person apart and remind them who the fuck it is that you are and that they're not allowed to come back into your energy unless they are genuinely going to be apologizing to you sincerely from their heart space and even then I don't even fucking think that you guys honestly want them anymore. They're a fucking page. If they can't offer you anything, then the fuck you need them for. At least that's what you guys are feeling in anyway with the Queen of Swords. You're putting them on pause. You're going to rip them apart. You're going to speak your truth. You're saying what you want to say. And you're also setting your boundaries because you don't have time for anybody to come into your life and, and bring you chaos for, the, for, for no fucking reason. You don't have time for chaos. Somebody here is not looking for drama. They're looking for peace. And this King of Cups brought nothing except 
drama. So for that, you guys are going to take that shit away. You're going to move on with your life. Let them deal with the drama themselves. When this person sees that you guys are making extraordinary efforts with the devil card to the seven of pentacles, that you're actually manifesting, you're planting, you're focusing on your money, you're focusing on your bit, uh, investments, you're doing Bitcoin, whatever the fuck what. Bitcoin's going to crash. Stop investing in it, all right? Do something else. This person is going to come running back for for you. <coughs> 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 and when they come running back for you, Virgos, you're putting them in check. Thanks, cuties. Bye.